Okay, today we're going to have a look at how to install the third generation Nest thermostat. First of all, we'll have a look in the box. Let's see what we got in there. It's a bit of a tight fit. There we are. We've got the Nest itself. Very Apple esque, the packing in this. Take that out of there, you've got uh, your instructions. Got the heat link. It's got the adapter for the nest. And you've got there's the heat link, that'll go on the wall by the boiler. And we got the wire in there. A link to the adapter that'll power the nest, and then in here, that's the stand. Oh, well, the uh, the bracket for the wall, or to fit it to the stand, and then at the very bottom, you've got the adapter plate. If you are replacing your old thermostat and there's a big hole in the wall, and that adapter plate will cover up any holes or anything in the wall. So, there you go. I've chosen to buy a stand because we're not 100% certain where we're going to put it at the moment. So we're going to try it around the room, different places, and then maybe at a later date when we decorate, we might end up putting it on the wall. We've got the instructions there. They're all very straightforward. And then the bit we're going to be interested in is up right there. And the wiring diagram I'll be using. So they have a 230 volt or 240 volt combi boiler and that's how we'll be wiring ours in. Hopefully very straightforward. Okay, this is the setup that we've got at the moment. We've had a new Worcester Bosch Green Star 30 SI compact installed. Unfortunately the Nest didn't arrive in time for that to all be installed together. So we've just got that without any programmer or any thermostat at the moment because our house didn't have a thermostat previously for some reason um, so that, that's the reason for buying the nest um, I'm just going to drop the front down off that so we can link the nest into it and then screw there screw there and screw there and then that just slides down There we go, and off it comes. There's all the wiring now. Right, if we look closely at the connections now on the boiler, we can see that this is where we need to connect our thermostat around by here, because we've got the live and neutral out, and we've also got an earth out, but we won't need that because the nest is, well, the heat link is plastic, so there's no earth on it. There's also the switch for the central heating and the hot water. Now the hot water and the central heating are currently looped straight to the live, so there's a constant live to both. The hot water one will stay there, because obviously we still want constant hot water all the time. The loop for the central heating will take out. Now we're going to pop that out by there. Which is literally just like a little connector block for the wire coming through. And it'll go through the back there and come out the back, down there, and around to where we're going to install the nest. The heat link, which is by there. Right, so the boiler end is all wired up now. What we've done is use some three core and earth wire, purely because I just had some lying around. Um, you can use, obviously, the three core and earth flex as well. But what I've done here is the brown is wired into the live, the grey is wired into the neutral, but I've sleeved it in blue just to identify it as neutral. Um, I've put the earth on there as well, only because I thought in case we do change the thermostat at any time in the future and that one does need an earth, so it'll just terminate at the other end. And then you've got the black wire, which is like the switch for the heating on and off. 
So we've tidied up all the wiring now. It's all linked in and it runs out the back, then the side there, around the trunk in, which will cover up, and then the nest heat link will go by there, just to the right of the switch. So to get into the nest, you unscrew this screw here, and the front cover slips off, revealing all the connections. There's a little guide there, and a guide to what the different colours mean when it's on. Uh, so now we need to screw it onto the wall, through these holes here and here. So we've got the nest in position now. I've left a little gap between the nest and the trunking, and I will have to cut some of that trunking out so we can get to the screw there. Otherwise we won't be able to screw the front plate on. Here we've still got the loop for the hot water, the white one going around the back. We've got the live coming out and going to the heat link. We've got the neutral coming out which is sleeve blue, that's going to the heat link. The earth as well, which is going to the heat link although it's not attached to the other end. And the core for the core for heating wire is black. And here we are, I'm not sure if you can see too well because it's a bit cramped, but you can see we got the brown live going to the L and then that looped to the 2 as well. Then we've got the blue sleeved neutral wire as it is at the boiler going to the neutral here. And then we've got the black wire which is basically the heat link telling the boiler when to come on and off. And as you can see I've taped up the earth wire so it's just there out of the way just in case we need to put another thermostat on it. Okay, now all we need to do is connect that so it's secure. Okay, so now we've connected that, which clamps the wire in place, so none of the wire is going to pull out. And I'm ready to put the cover on. Incidentally, if you were controlling the hot water, you would use these. If you had open therm connections on the boiler, you would use these. If you were to connect in the nest unit direct to this, then you would use these, which are 12 volt out. But we're plugging ours in. So. so there we have it. The heat link's on the wall, 30 centimetres away from the boiler, as shown in the instructions. All that's left to do now is put the front on the boiler, Slide that up and turn them on. And not to mention taking this sticker off the nest. That looks neat, yeah. Okay, like I said before, we've got the nest stand. I want to put that now. Not a lot to it. For 30 quid. There's a couple of screws, and then here is a stand, white in colour, which I thought was a bit unusual, being as the actual nest is silver, but there we go. Okay, we'll follow these simple instructions now. Okay, we take this, this is the back end for the nest thermostat. It's got a spirit level on it as well so when you're making it on the wall it'd be nice and straight. And what we're doing with the stand is we'll be putting that into there. Take the bottom off the nest, a nice rubber pad. Thread that through there like so. And that get myself a bit of wire there. That goes into there. Like so. And the nest attaches to there with the two screws that were provided here. So it should look. And then the nest 
connects there. Just clicks into place. And there we have it. Okay, so we've got the nest all set up now on a shelf. I uh, put the shelf up especially. I think it looks quite good actually, apart from this trailing wire and the god awful wallpaper that we haven't done yet. Um, so now the moment of truth, we're going to turn the heat link on, then we'll turn this on and uh, we'll see if it all works. Right, as you can see, we've got the boiler all back together and the cover back on. Hey presto. And the heat link's there. Now all to do is turn him on. There we are. A little blue light on there indicates that that's trying to connect. So I think we go downstairs now and turn on the nest. Okay, let's turn him on. Okay. So we'll pick English UK. Confirm your choice. Yes. Take the 5G one, as that should be a bit faster. Now we need to enter the password. I'm not sure if you can see from here, but the far sight is showing us. Oh, it's just gone off. There you go. I'm quite recognised, which is good because this is over years where we're going to be sat. But as you walk up to it, so it comes on. Shows. 21 degrees is set at, and as you go a bit closer, it goes a bit further back, and then it shows it's 18 and a half degrees in here. Boy, is having a good old time upstairs now trying to get it hotter. Right, 10 minutes on, we got on very well with the nest. This is how the far site works. Let's pick you up from across the room. And there's been an update since I actually installed the thermostat. And the far side now does a lot of different things. You can even have the weather on there. You can have a clock on there. Um, I've got it set, the most useful I think, as the current temperature. So this is what temperature it is in the room. Just gone out now. There we are. That'll tell me as the walking past, it's 18 and a half degrees in the room. If I go closer, it knows I'm closer. And it changes to that. So the heat is set to 18. And you can't quite see it on the video. But around the outside, it does say that it's 18 and a half degrees in here. Adjustments take place obviously with this. Orange now means that the boiler is running and it's set to 20 and that will be 20 degrees in 30 minutes. This is what it says just above but again you can't see that on there. Obviously one of the main features of the Nest is being able to control it via your phone with an app. This is the Nest app. Heat set to 18. And it's actually at 19 degrees now. And you can adjust that using the arrows or you can pull it around. Something like that. tend to use the arrows, it's a bit more accurate. But this is 10 months on now and we love it. We both got it installed on our phone 
um, so we can both alter it as we see fit there we are that's gone orange now as has that it'll be 20 and a half degrees in 35 minutes according to that it's learned that over the time that how long it takes to heat up the room and everything it is a clever bit of kit we've neatened up the install a bit the socket there and a wire there just until we decorate and then we might put it on the wall overall and a really good bit of kit and I can't recommend getting one enough it really is brilliant it's not just a toy it saved us a lot of money as well because we didn't even have a thermostat before <laughs>